Hello and welcome to another Japan Crate unboxing. Today we have the Cherry Blossom themed pink box uh, for technically, I guess, April. Um, although they don't really have dates on anymore. So I'm just going to refer to this as the Cherry Blossom Edition. And as you can see, it is fairly standard, you know, fairly sort of subtle, but uh, lots of cherry blossoms there. On the front, we've got the little logo there. We've got their social media on that side. Some more cherry blossom leaves and, of course, the website you can get this uh, create yourself from. And on the back, it tells you all about the sakura season in Japan. Obviously, uh, cherry blossoms are a big thing in Japan, so uh, it's around to now I think they bloom. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go slice open this box and we'll take a look inside. Alright, so let's delve a hand in and like always I'm not going to be showing you guys what's inside because I want to discover it together. Uh, this is the pamphlet. I'm going to quickly take a look inside. It is, you're not going to believe this, very pink. Uh, yeah, so this is just the cheat sheet, which I will be referring to as we pull items out of this crate. So, let's begin. Oh, ah, I think we've had one of these before. This is Pierre Ojisan no Roru Keki. Uh, so this is Old Man Pierre's Roll Cake, I guess, and it's Ichigo flavour, uh, strawberry, as you can tell then. I guess that's Old Man Pierre. I suppose, I think I'm reading that, Pierre, I think I'm reading that correct. Uh, right, let's find out. This is Strawberry Cream Roll Cake. Uh, no mention of Old Man Pierre, so I don't know, or Grandpa Pierre. Tell, let me know in the comments if I'm reading this incorrectly. Maybe I'm just horribly misreading. Uh, next, oh, I'm just going to pull one of the big ones. Ooh. Ooh, let's go. We've got some more Ariel. Uh, and this one is Freshu Tomato, I think. Um, so this uh, is the other girl from The Witch from Mercury, not the main girl who looks like a raccoon. It's her uh, not girlfriend, uh, I want to say. Anyway, uh, it does look like tomatoes. Uh, is I mean, that definitely says tomato. And that looks like fresh, maybe. Uh, so something I forgot to mention in the last video, actually, we had some the uh, we had the cheese aerials. Um, the reason it's a gun down the Witch from Mercury kind of crossover is that the mobile suit used in the Witch from Mercury is called the aerial. So <clears throat> it's the perfect crossover. Right, let's see if this is tomato flavour. This is gun down the Witch from Mercury tomato snack. Uh, so yeah, much like the cheese one as well, these are really cool, they've got like four layers and stuff. Ariel has fast become one of my favourite potato chip or crisp brands. Uh, I am very sad they don't sell it over here, but this is a different uh, package. So the other one had, uh, I'm guessing the villain, with the like red mobile suit. So I am wondering if, is it Suleta? The main girl is. I do wonder if she's got her own... Uh, pack as well, there's maybe a different flavour. Oh, we've got a uh, Fuer Candy, or Whistle Candy. So these have shown up quite a few times now. They're candies that you press these between your lips and blow through the hole and it sounds like a whistle and also you can eat them. Uh, let's see, I don't know what flavour this is, but I'm sure the cheat sheet will tell us. This is new Whistle Candy. So if it's anything like the other ones, I'm guessing this is going to be Ramune flavour, probably. Um, I think one of them was banana flavour, which I think I tried in... Uh, I think it was just a Japan Crate video. I don't think it was the Japanese snack reviews. Uh, ooh. Next up we have Ta-Tara. Something... Ta oh, Taro. Wait, is this Taro? I think this is fish. Um, this has been, it's been years actually, but back in the day, Japan Crate did used to put these like dried pieces of fish and they're usually treated in something, so unfortunately I can't really read what it is. But it's probably like barbecue or soy sauce flavour, I think this is fish. This is a fish chew snack, uh, and yeah, they are classic fish sticks. Um, and it recommends trying with a side of mayo. Uh, I quite like these actually. They're weird, so they're quite thin, but once you get like chewing and stuff, they do become quite juicy. Um, 
Yeah, I haven't had like dried fish snacks in quite some time. Now. Hey, I've had this before. Irebeji. Uh, so the oh well, ire veggie. Um, so these are biscuits that have it's like twelve different vegetables or something in them. Uh, I do believe I reviewed this a few Japanese snack reviews episodes ago, but I'm gonna double check anyway. These are snack sticks with 11 vegetables. I'm an idiot. I, I literally read irebeji, as in eleveji. Uh, it's, a, it's a play on words, eleve, eleven. Anyway, um, but yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty nice. I'll be honest, when I did have them, I couldn't taste quite, like, down to the what uh, vegetables they were. But they are pretty nice uh, biscuits in general. Uh, yeah, okay. These are oh right. I thought I was. I I took me. I like. I reread this several times before I realised the English. Asparagus. Uh, these are mini asparagus biscuits. Wow. Okay. Um. I don't know why when I picked this up I thought these were like chewy uh sweets. Wow. Okay. Uh. Let's see what these are exactly. I mean we know, but these are white chocolate soaked mini asparagus. Um. Wow, well, I am I am very curious about this now. Um, I will definitely be trying these. Keep an eye out for a Japanese snack reviews episode coming uh, in a while. Honestly, I've got so many boxes now. I think uh, once I finish the crate that I've got almost on the end, uh, I've got four more of these to do with including this. So uh, it's going to be a while, but I will be eating the Hey, we've got pure potato. I do love me some pure potato. They're like fancy potato chips, basically. And this is something butter. Uh, butter, no. And then that's kanji, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, so this is something butter. I love the uh, package. Ooh, man, yeah, it is very fancy packaging, pure potato. Uh, let's see what this is. This is butter and rock salt chips. Very interesting. Okay, so essentially kind of a ready salted potato chip thing, but yeah, pure potato are very nice. They are uh, very high tier potato chips. Nay, ooh. Next up, we've got seeds, I guess. Uh, Ichigo, Sugine, and then something chocolate. So these are strawberry. I think I know what these are. I think they're like puffs covered in strawberry chocolate or something. Uh, and there's a bear, which is kind of cute, but also a little bit creepy. I don't know. It's something a bit uncanny. Let's see what these are. These are strawberry wheat chocolates. Uh, yeah, if you've ever had sugar puffs, I uh, know that's like a UK cereal. Kind of like that, except these are covered in, um, in sort of strawberry chocolate. Very interesting. Uh, definitely up for trying that. Ooh. Oh, yo, we've got the uh, the mushrooms are back. Oh, yeah, it's kinoko. And um, that's kanji, unfortunately. Yeah, kinokos. So these are their biscuits and they're covered in chocolate as well. Uh, ooh. Oh, is this a DIY kit, I wonder? I think it is. Oh, let's go to kinoko uh, DIY kit. Oh, this could turn out horribly, but I'm very excited. I've had boxes of Kinoko before, but uh, that's cool. Right, let's see exactly what this is. This is Mushroom Shaped Chocolate DIY. Uh, and yeah, does what it says on the tin, I suppose. I think Kinoko is um, mushroom in Japanese, right? Or maybe I'm wrong there, but that that's cool. I am, uh, I am fully on board with that. Nah. Ooh, yo, let's go. We've got strawberry pocky. Uh, I, I don't think this needs much introduction. Oh, it's a heavy pack as well. This is several packs of uh, pocky, I do believe. Man, pocky is never bad. Like, even if it's a flavour you don't like, you're probably going to end up liking it. If you've never had it before, somehow it's kind of a biscuit thing covered uh, in flavoured chocolate, basically. Ooh, this is a very fancy box. Right, let's see exactly what this is. This is Pocky Strawberry Sprinkle. And it also says the dare is uh, you and a friend grab a, a Pocky and the shortest one has to sing their favourite song really loudly. Uh, I'd never play that because my favourite song is Last Caress by The Misfits and I don't think that's a song you're meant to be singing out loud. 
Right, next up we have, oh, I think I recognize the feel of this. Uh, oh, now I think we got the exact same one here, uh, Mini Peach. So I think I've got this uh, coming up actually in a Japanese Snack Reviews episode. Uh, so this came in the Lucky Box I got a few months ago. Um, so these are kind of small, well, I want to say Ramune candy, but they're not. Uh, they're small candies. Obviously, these are peach flavoured, or maybe peach ramune. Um, but yeah, let me double check anyway. We've got mini peach hard candy. Yeah, these are uh, they are very nice. My only gripe is when you like pull off the ring thing, you can't close this up properly again, uh, which does kind of mean you've got to eat them in in a short amount of time. I mean, I guess they'll, they'll probably be good for a while, but, you know, you can never be too sure. Oh, we have... Oh! Oh, I, I can literally tell you exactly what this is, because I filmed... Um, I filmed part of the Japanese snack reviews yesterday for this. This is Dark Matcha uh, Kit Kat. So this is matcha-flavoured Kit Kat, but a stronger matcha taste. Uh, it, is, it is beautiful if you really like matcha green tea. If you don't, uh, this is a very strong, uh, strong tasting thing you're probably not going to enjoy. But I love matcha flavoured stuff and um, this is just like next level. Um, I'll show you the entry anyway. Actually, uh, th th there's no entry. Uh, so I think, w much like last time, I think it's just like thrown in as a little freebie, which is cool with me. I absolutely will take a freebie snack. Ooh. We've got a, uh, a donut, I guess. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, this is a donut biscuit thing. I get you. Yeah, yeah, I've had one of these before. This is Petite Donut Biscuit. It does what it says on the pack. Unless you can't read Japanese, in which case uh, it probably does something. Oh, oh, this is Furushi Tonashi. Uh, fruit, oh, fruit donut. Wait, what? Oh, okay, it's like a... That's cool. It's like, it's like a gummy donut thing. Ah, it says fruit donut gummy. Very nice. I always like gummy that's on the shape of something, uh, but it isn't typically a gummy. Ooh, very strawberry heavy. I mean, it is uh, cherry blossom season actually. So hey, we've got some uh, some Ichigo uh, flavored like gum kind of things. Uh, let's see exactly what these are. These are strawberry marble gum. Uh, yes, yeah, so they're gum, but they've got like a hard exterior. Uh, marble gum is pretty darn nice. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, we've had this before. This is uh, Bisco. Uh, yeah, these are like little biscuits with sort of cream in the middle uh, with a smiling Japanese child. And I'm guessing these are strawberry cream. Oh, Ichigo, there you go, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Ichigo, of course, uh, being both the Japanese for strawberry and the main guy from Bleach. Let's see exactly what these are. This is the Bisco Strawberry Mini Pack. Yeah, it's a mini pack of biscuits. They're quite nice. Um, I think the one I had last time was like milk flavoured or something, so pretty standard. But, uh, uh, oh, the, the, good lord, we got a lot of gummy stuff today. This is, is this grape? soda but foo is weird because the circle that denotes that it should be poo is at the bottom and up the top does that still count that's weird uh gummy as well if this is grape soda i'm very confused i have never seen the um the denotation that it's not it's poo it's not foo at the bottom is that that's weird okay this is grape soda, and if you can see the uh, the the third character uh, from the left there, after the line has the circle at the bottom at uh, the top right, but this is this has it at the bottom right. This it's weird. I I didn't know you could write things like that in Japanese. This has opened my mind. Uh, let me know in the comments below if I'm just being an idiot and. Maybe it's meant to look like that or whatever. So I think we have two things left. One feels like a drink, one feels like a non-snack item. Let's see if I'm correct. Ah! Now, this is going to be useful. Do you know why? Because we got this drink in the Lucky Box uh, that I got for New Year's. The New Year's thing didn't come with a pamphlet. 
and I was unsure. I could use Google Lens, I guess, but it is by uh, Morinaga. Now, all of this is pretty much in kanji, so I, I couldn't actually read the can. I'm guessing it's maybe strawberry milk flavour or something, but I could be wrong. Uh, let's see what the pamphlet says. Okay, this is a sweet fermented rice drink. It's Amazake, apparently. That is very interesting. So I've got two cans of this now, because I have another can. So definitely going to be trying that. Um, I'll probably do it in the upcoming Japanese snack reviews episode. And I say upcoming, it could be a few weeks, because uh, I don't eat I don't eat snacks and stuff every day. Right, uh, one last cursory check. No, we've got lots of the uh, thing. And it is time. What? Uh, it's time for this. Is it water? Uh, and there are leaves? No. What are these? The heck is this? Ooh, ooh, it's squishy. Um. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna read what it says first before I open this up. This is wild. So this is a magical growing sakura tree. Um, I wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> okay, so there's several steps. You can combine it, put it in the plate, then that liquid is a growth uh, liquid. And then over the next six to eight hours, it will grow, I think. Um, right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that right at the end of the video, because I'm going to need a, uh, a time skip, basically. Uh, Okay, that's interesting. Right, I'm going to put this to the side then. We'll wrap up with the snacks, then I'll go do the cherry tree thing. B R B. All right, uh, so I've got everything laid out. This has been a very, very interesting crate. Uh, there are some snacks I am really, really curious to try. The chocolate asparagus really has me peaked. Really hyped to get some more dried fish as well. Amazing stuff. Uh, obviously, the Japanese are well known for their fish. Uh, some more aerial as well. I didn't even realise there was some more Gundam aerial flavours. So very excited for that. Overall, this is very cool. Uh, I love the amount of like gummy stuff and the strawberry things as well. Uh, some nice amount of like savoury stuff or weird sort of savoury stuff as well. Uh, yeah, overall, very very much digging the Sakura theme. Uh, I think my renewal for Japan Crate is coming up, and I'm going to keep it going for a bit. Honestly, I've I've really been enjoying what they've been doing. Every month is actually really different now, especially with the included like non-snack item and seeing what the crates look like and stuff. I I'm just having a ton of fun making these videos, really, and obviously eating the snacks. That's kind of a bonus as well. Um, but yeah, right. That kind of wraps up the snack portion of this video. Uh, now, I'm going to clear everything and we'll get this tree set up, I guess, so BRB. Alright, so this is the base kind of setup of it. You kind of slot both sides, uh, one, one of them slides into the other, and the base kind of holds it up using this little plastic thing. Now, we've got to go separate all of the individual leaves, apparently, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, so I've uh, actually put the tree in the base. I was kind of an idiot and just had it a little bit uh, loose there. Now, I said to separate each of the leaves. I think this is what they meant, because as you can see, they kind of come in two parts, so I've bent them away from each other, basically, uh, hoping that they will bloom. Uh, so, I think all that's left now is to put the growth gel into the base here, which I'm going to do off camera because uh, much like the DIY kits, I don't want this going everywhere over my table, so BRB. All right, there you go. I've uh, rotated it a little bit as well. So um, I'm going to go to bed now because <laughs> it's actually quite late anyway. Uh, and in six to eight hours, this should have bloomed. Now, I'm going to try and get up early. Uh, I say early. Uh, I mean, six to eight hours is a pretty average sleep time. And hopefully this will have all bloomed. The way I think it's going to work is because this is, feels a bit cardboardy, but I don't know exactly. It might have like live plants or something or seeds or something in it. And uh, I think these little red things will, you know, get the nutrients soaked up from this and bloom. Uh, the provided picture looked pretty nice. So fingers crossed, ours is too. 
So I'm not going to move the camera now and hopefully I'll have a night time lapse and by that mean I mean I'm just going to jump to when it's the morning. So see you like immediately for you guys I guess. All right it is uh, several hours later and I am thoroughly impressed. Uh, I saw the pictures in the kind of cheat sheet thing and I thought yeah you know that's that's probably the best kind of scenario but this is incredible. Uh, so I'm not fully sure how this was even achieved. I'm very curious, but I don't want to ruin the magic either. I just kind of want to know uh, that it's beautiful, and it is. That is cool. So obviously the tips of the little um, cardboard things were the kind of sakura leaves. Now, I could have done maybe a better job of, like, uh, separating them and stuff. I think maybe... I had to separate them further down as well, I don't know. But regardless, this looks pretty darn cool, especially for essentially a kind of cardboard thing <laughs> that, uh, that you know, came in a packet and stuff. That is really cool. Uh, so there is like a contest or something for like videos or pictures or something about that. Um, so I'll definitely be keeping an eye on social media to check out what other people have done. But that is very cool. Uh, I am thoroughly impressed with this. I am curious as well to like see how long this lasts. So apparently the cherry blossom like petals are very um, fragile, so I'm making sure not to touch those. I like put it in my room or something for now. I think. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm just curious to see how long it'll last like this because I don't think this is a plant, or maybe it does use. Some kind of seeds or something? I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you managed to get one of these going as well. I mean, it's not difficult, but you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, that is really cool. What a, what a way to end the video with some transformation. Um, as always, thank you guys very much for watching. Um, I will be doing another Japan Crate video very soon. Uh, probably next month, obviously. Um, as with a lot of other uh, Japan Crate things, it did unfortunately happen that we got one video uh, last week and one video this week. That's just how things go, really. But I'll let you get on now. I will leave you a playlist to my previous Japan Crate videos, and I'll leave YouTube choose another video for you at the bottom there. And until next time, goodbye.